Hello guys, Cooter Hacker here, and today I'm doing a review of the Chrome Web App Store. Now, you have to have the latest version of Chrome, Google Chrome, so I'd suggest getting that for Windows or Mac. Even uh, Ubuntu might actually have it up. So you just go to Google Chrome, and you download that. It's free, and trust me, it's worth it. So, the Google Chrome App Store is very interesting. They're very similar to the App Store of the iPads or iPhones, as well as the Android App Store. So I'm going to show it to you guys today. There we go. Now, it's also similar to the add-on section of Firefox. However, this feels more premium in my opinion. This is definitely well laid out, and I give Google definitely props for doing this. This is awesome, in fact. I'm going to show you something here really quickly about apps. Say I want something like, I don't know, YouTube. I type in YouTube in the search, and it shows me what YouTube apps I can get. And most of them are free. There's a lot of free applications out there that you don't even have to pay for. Even they call it, even though they call it a web store, you've got a lot of free choices. So it's like walking into a store and just taking everything for free, and they have no issue with you doing that, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna click on a YouTube app. So let's see what then. Hmm, I like that one. Two mo lets you use your mobile device as a remote control for the web. That one would be cool if I had a mobile device that I could use it. But let's add the YouTube one right there. Now this one is called the YouTube Lean Back. Let's install that. And it got five stars. Three people rated it. Now look, I am greeted with a new tab. And it shows my applications right here that I already have installed. And you'll see a web store. In your case, if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, you'll only see YouTube and web store. But web store will get you back. So I'm going to click on YouTube. And notice how I didn't have to restart my browser. Now it plays the latest hits, which I'd rather not do right now. Don't understand how you watch this crap. No comment on that. Anyways, you can search for whatever you want on here, and then you can use it using HTML5, I believe is what it used. Nope, excuse me, it, this is actually using Adobe Flash. However, a lot of these applications feature... HTML5. So I just searched me. And now it's showing my channel right here. I can show you guys what I'm doing here. I thought I removed one of these. That one. But no comment on that. Anyways, you can click on mine and it'll play automatically using Flash. So it's very nice. And it works pretty well for this app. I If I go to rate it and it's taking a while to load. Hello but, guys, Clue Your Hacker here. Here we go. And today I'm going to show you how I can thumbs up or thumbs down. In my case, I'd probably thumbs down myself. However, as you can see, the Chrome Web Store allows apps. So let's search a good app that you don't have to pay money for, which apparently YouTube was one of them. And let's see here. Let's search Facebook because I like Facebook. Now I can see Facebook in my applications. Obviously, this is a new interface so not many people have added Facebook to it which is kind of interesting you think they would however let's try something else let's try Pandora now as you can see it gives me a list of two Pandora apps and I already have this one installed but you get the gist of how to install it I'm gonna rate this one a 5 because it works exactly how it should I don't know why anybody would rate it less It works. <laughs> it's just the web store. I mean, the website, I should say. Getting two things confused. Now, many of you are probably wondering why they would just give you the website for the application. Well, it's just nice to have things all put together and have web applications. And I think this works really well especially for those out there who are using a netbook and have Google Chrome on their netbook, which I really want to actually look into getting. This is the future of cloud computing, really. Having web applications and having it all organized like this 
very similar to the iPad, and I can click my application. So let's say I want Pandora. I'll click that, and it'll bring me to the website, just like it does. Now, there are definitely more sophisticated apps out there. For example, the New York Times one I downloaded. I believe this one definitely uses Flash 5, um, excuse me, not Flash, HTML5. And as you can see, I can view the latest news. And it'll bring me to the website, which is nice. I can also go back, hit the back button. And let's say something, I'm like a gamer, and I'd rather play some games, free games I might want to add. A lot of people want to charge for Flash applications, which should be free. So if I want something like Bejeweled, which would be awesome, I can view my applications right here. There's also extensions, and I'll go over what extensions are first, actually, because you know what, what uh, apps are. So extensions basically add it to your page without having to move. So I'm going to hit install. And as you can see, I don't have to open up a new tab to get into my apps. I can just do it right from here. Most of the time they do work. Sometimes they don't. And in this case, it's not working, so I'm going to have to go into the settings. So, in my case, this didn't work out for me. Unfortunately, I think you have to be logged into Facebook, which I'm not. So I'm going to uninstall that. And look, I don't even have to re restart. It will uninstall automatically. So, as you can see, extensions basically allow me to use this within the web page that I'm in without having to move to another web page which is nice. I can view my weather for today and as you can see rain. So there's definitely some useful applications out there including Sketchpad which I find very cool. Sketchpad will basically allow me to draw and doodle anything and this one might be using HTML5 too. So as you can see it doesn't say Adobe Flash. Why would anybody want something like that? I have no clue. But as you can see, I made it transparent. And I can write myself a note to do. And I bet they have a, again, very similar to Photoshop, like I said. Or didn't say, either way you look at it. It's similar to Photoshop. And now, I just made an effect through here. And I can choose the shape that I want it to be. For polygon, I can do ellipse. That's kind of cool. And I can do all these cool shapes. And let's say I want to do, want to do another effect. I'm going to choose blue or purple, navy blue. And as you can see, it's just a cool application that I can write notes in. I can save my notes, and hopefully they'll have a user system, which they do. So I can save notes, I can write notes, I can draw, I can doodle. And this is very nice, like I said, for people who have a Google Chrome netbook. Because this allows me to get on my applications very quickly without having to type in the web address. And it's organized better. I think this is like the premium to the add-ons. I can also get themes. And they'll install instantly as well. As you can see, I actually kind of like this one. And I can rate it. Great thing. And this gives many web applications a, or I should I should say web developers, a way to get their ideas out, get their system out, especially with Google Chrome. And I'm liking the system. I am tempted to actually switch fully to Chrome, considering Firefox 4 beta is not working out for me. I might actually switch it back. So thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will definitely be doing more videos about this and Google Chrome. I love Google Chrome as far as it's concerned now, and I love IE9. I know. Because of the graphic acceleration, which is nice, I will be doing a review on that again. But Firefox definitely needs to work on it because this is working very well, and Flash with Firefox is not doing that well especially the fourth version. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, definitely comment, rate, and subscribe.